I need you, viewer. First off, thank you for watching Helldivers 2. I played Helldivers 1, so how hard could it really be? No idea what is going on. Oh, God. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on. Yeah. 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 Just unload into them. Hopefully, I'm not too danger close. <laughs> Secondly, do you see this behind me? Oh, wait. This. This behind me. How do I make it transparent? Because when I do it in Sony Vegas, it does this. And when I do it in movie AI, it does this. So, hey, if you know the answer to it, feel free to comment down below or reach me at my YouTube business email right here. Oh. I'll even add a whole bunch of other content creators down below in the description just to see if any of them will end up answering. So thank you for checking out the video and let's jump right into it. Thank you. Woo! It still doesn't look cool, does it? Did, did we even transition to the video yet? And it, oh God, oh God, no, no, no! Super Earth, our home. Prosperity. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. Our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> Sweet liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! Exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. Welcome to GDs to Hell Divers 2. I played a little bit of Hell Divers 1, so I think um I am actually immediately thrown back. Hello, what is this game? What happened to my top town beloved roguelike? What happened? Bring up the map to view objectives. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so there appears to be a lot going on that I'm immediately not familiar with. So yeah, thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for checking out Hell Divers 2. This is in my very first look. I have not played at all except the tutorial and i have very little knowing what's going on because my god look at this game this is amazing how do we go from a top down kind of roguelike to this beautiful atmospheric just vibrant environment of just pure bliss like this is amazing so i believe our objective here is to eliminate as many bugs as possible main objective nearby well i'm gonna go ahead and start moving towards what i think my main objective is it says extraction point is here there's also some really objective over here somewhere i got to eliminate some kind of bug i am very thrown back on exactly what it is i'm supposed to be doing but i am i'm blown away by honestly just the pure amount of gray hell okay we got our first interaction a couple of bugs there we go okay there's our first enemy wow i i'm i'm actually just blown away i am amazed by how amazing this is all looking and how much i am probably gonna be completely outclassed in this situation because i am Again, I have not played. I have nothing unlocked. I have no idea what is going on. Oh, God. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on. I have no idea what to look out for. And I'm not certain. Um, orbital airstrike. I, I know how to do this from the tutorial. Hey there, guys. Um, I don't know if this is a good time to use it or not. But um, hopefully I'm not too danger close. <laughs> run, run, run. How do I jump? Out of melee. No, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a great way to start. Killed by Brew Commander. <laughs> Request to prove it. Okay, and it immediately throws you right back into the battle. Okay, do we have some allies around here? Do I have any, uh, do I have any, like, friends that can maybe help me out? Eliminate the Brew Commander? I guess not, so I'm gonna keep on moving along. Oh, some fall damage. Noted, there is fall damage in the game. Ah! <laughs> There's mines on the ground. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking out for. I'm immediately just being taken out and there's not even anyone near me. There's a couple. So I need to take out the brood commander, which I think is the thing that actually killed me. So I need to make my way back over towards that area. I almost got him taken out, I think. Just unload, just unload on these guys. Just unload, just unload. Oh wow, okay, mission complete. Eliminate brood commander. I mean, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Another triumph for managed democracy. That's beautiful. I, I'm glad I could help. I, you know, I wasted all these bullets, died once, and now we're trying to get out of here. Extraction is now available. Head towards the extraction beacon to end the mission. All right, well, uh, that was a very quick mission. How about we jump into something a little bit more uh, sporadic, something a little bit more, you know, involved. <laughs> okay, well, uh, never mind. The extraction process is not so simple. I guess we still might have to fight a little bit. Shuttle incoming in two minutes. And oh God, so are the bugs. They're coming in now. Okay, well, we have to defend ourselves as we extract here. Not so simple as I thought. Oh, God, just keep on firing. Just keep on firing. Keep on firing. Is there a jump mechanic? No, immediately eliminated. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be playing this all by myself. Is there any way to get allies in here? I need help. I need help. Oh, you can actually maneuver the helipad. I saw there for this for a second. Uh, no hell divers alive to reinforce you. Additional reinforcements will be automatically dispatched if the budget allows. If the budget allows. Oh my god, there is so much to this game that I'm already immediately not understanding that I'm I'm excited to learn about. And, you know, hey, if you guys want to see more content on this in the future, hopefully maybe with friends and a little bit not so <laughs> dying so often, you know, maybe we can do a little bit better in the future once I get my bearings and understand what it is that is going on. You know, maybe play a little bit off camera to try to understand it a little bit better. Hey there, everybody. Get out of my face. Why don't you? A sample container was dropped. Pick it up to retrieve the sample it contains. Oh, okay. Um, Liberator? Okay, that seems kind of nice to reload my weapon. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reload real quick. Uh, the extraction should be coming in about one minute. We have about 55 seconds left. Hopefully no more are going to be arriving here. Helldivers operated guest the clock. Complete your mission. There's a giant laser in it coming in from the sky. Hello? I hear something behind me. I don't like all the fog. I'm alone, I'm scared, and it's dark out. I just, get me out of here. Get me to the extraction zone. There you are. I knew I heard some of you coming in. I, I think you're supposed to be playing this with others, and I am definitely all by myself. So, hey, I guess this is going to be a great kind of, you know, a great you know, look at, see, can you play this solo? Can you kind of do it on your own? Maybe if you unlock more items, more armor, more items in general, equipments to kind of up your character that you might be able to, you know, play a little bit more on your solo self. It doesn't always require a squad of friends or people to play with. But I don't, I don't know if there's like an open mode or an open like world mode for other hell divers to kind of like interact with you. I remember from the original hell divers, the top down version, there was a way, um, there was a way to call in other, other hell divers to help you kind of like from just like open matchmaking in a way. Helking one approaching. Um, okay, from where? From where to defend the extraction zone? Let the time is run out. Uh, there you are. That is a very small shuttle. I thought you would be coming with more. Okay, that's just a dead body. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Call it a respawn when low out. Yeah, no. Uh, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Wow. Okay. Well, what a way to start the first episode. We're going to have to try another mission to see how... We're, we need to try another mission to see how well we can do. I'm going to try my best to try to find some friends and find some people in the open matchmaking to play with because that is not doing so well by myself. I'm going to need help. <laughs> On to the next. We are on our second mission and I have an SOS beacon down. So I now, I believe that allies are gonna be able to come down and help me whenever they have, like whenever they have the capability to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start moving through this forest. And let's be a little bit more methodical about this. Let's be a little bit more careful and make sure we do our mission properly, right? I mean, hey, we're here for super earth. We are here for the glory of all humankind. What kind of good you know, hell diver am I if I keep on dying? We, need, we are an expert soldier. We are an expert battler. We are an expert frontliner. We are the hell divers. What kind of person am I if I can't complete one mission? So while we go ahead and wait for our allies to join on up, let's go ahead and see what we have available to us. So we see something up front. We need to take out a couple more brood commanders like last time. Just keeping it very simple. And I realized that last time we were on easy mode. Now well, we were on very easy mode. Now we're on regular easy mode. Got to build up through the difficulties to see how well we can kind of get get going, get the rest of the missions going, kind of get yourself unlockable, see what's going on. Find the Turmoil Brood Commander. So I'm going to go ahead and assume it's somewhere around this area that has all the uh, crackly looking rocks. And hello, what are you? The arch thrower? Ammo? Grenades? Hello. So we got like a stash of stuff they can find around in the area. That's kind of nice. That's very, you know, good. You can find little collectibles around in the area. We also found those samples last time, the last mission. 
switch between primary and support weapon. We got our pistol and we got our, oh, hello there. We have our first contact. You know, the pistol seems to actually do pretty good. Look at that. Just a couple of shots to the face and they're taken down. Yeah, these little baby ones are nothing. Reloading discards any remaining ammunition. Plan your reloads wisely. Oh, okay. So you don't want to just reload freely as, as you want, whenever you want. You actually have to keep in mind of how much ammo you have in your magazine or else you're going to be wasting your ammo by just discarding it with a reload. You know, let's go ahead and bring out our main weapon here. <laughs> let's go ahead and try to shoot a little bit. Now, something you might be wondering is the fact that we do not actually aim with the white reticle in the center. You have to aim with that white circle that is floating around. So you have to be a little bit more conscientious, conscientious about where it is that you're trying to aim. But it keeps on floating around in the area. Come on, come on, reload, 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 please, reload, right away, <laughs> reload, thank you, ah, god, what did I just walk into, what just blew me up, stay back, stay back, okay, I do not like this gun very much, it does not do a whole lot of damage, objective complete, I, I eliminated a brew commander, fantastic, it looks like that was the one I was looking for, but these guys appear to be armored, the battle is not over yet, and it does not reload for you automatically. You have to manually reload, which is probably a good thing. Maybe, I don't know. Stone Stargers are heavily armored. Hit weak spots or use armor piercing weapons. I don't know if I have any armor piercing weapons, but I do have this. Eat grenade, dipshit. <laughs> Eat grenades. <laughs> is that gonna work for the armor? Yeah, do the high explosives work for you? Actually, it kind of did it, but you know, hey, he's take it out. I will, I will take it. I will take it. So we are kind of running through ammo a little bit fast here. We have two out of seven magazines. There you can see in the very bottom left. You know, it's one to be faster to swap to a sidearm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Reload, reload, reload. I, you know, I don't mind the sidearm a little bit. It's actually pretty useful. I mean, I, I've said even before that it's kind of good. Run away. Oh, he just got to die. What did he bleed out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just unload into them. We're down to one blast magazine into the face. Ooh, baby. Oh, wow. You can really just let go on that trigger. Call in a race play when ammo is low. So that's right. We have stratagems. We can go ahead and do this with our D-pad. Down, down, up to the right there with our stratagems in the very top left. And boom. Now we can either throw it around. And I believe ammo is going to be coming down here any second up from our ship there from above. Uh, any second now in four seconds in three, two, one. And... Nice. I kind of like that. It's a very nice animation. So they did keep a lot of the same kind of feeling of the previous Helldivers game in the sense of like, you got your stratagems, you got your support weapons, you got your different classes. Ow! 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 <laughs> Stop! You're not dead. What do you mean you're not dead? Okay, reload again. Reload again. I'm just going to keep on using the pistol. Please stay back. Please stay back. Okay, okay, okay. You are flying. You have wings? Oh, God. Now, this reminds me a lot of uh, what's the game I'm trying to think of? Uh, Starship Troopers. It has a very Starship Troopers kind of ask feel to it in, in general because, you know, a lot of the bugs and so whatnot. We can heal ourselves, I think, a little bit down on the D-pad. Please, down on the D-pad. Yes, uh, drop Arc Thrower. No, that is um, that is not on the D-pad. Uh, can we have anything for stims? No, anything? Oh, I'm going to be out here just bleeding to death. That is fine. Well, let's look for the next brew commander somewhere here on the map. I think it's be over here off to this right. May as well keep our primary out and get this reloaded on up because we are running into enemies all over the place. But this does go to show, I mean, before it was on very easy and now it is on easy mode. You can definitely play this game solo. You can play it by yourself and hello, interact. Thief communications device. Notice the colonists military operations being conducted in your vicinity. There is no need for alarm. Please remain indoors. Well, I mean, yeah, that probably seems smart. Can I pick up like, is there like gonna be like health around here? We got some, what are you? That seems like something I should be able to pick up. No. Freedom. <laughs> you want a cold glass of freedom? Straight dispense from the, what do they call it? Vending machine. And this seems important. What did I just do? I saluted it and super credits. Okay. Well, man, there is a lot to find around here. So there are more collectibles. There's different credits. There are different like items and like equipment you can go ahead and find out here in just a while. You just explore as much as you want. It is very, it is very Helldivers-esque. I like how they've kept a lot of the same elements from the first game, even though it was a very top-down, you know, style roguelike, to even something like this, a FPS shooter, which, again, I cannot reiterate enough of how beautiful this game is. Like, it may not come through all that well on YouTube because it compresses down the video, but, you know, it's going to be a little bit different than, you know, how I'm playing it in, you know, in my own real life, you know, I'm playing it basically like 4K, and it just looks amazing. Ultra graphics and all this stuff, it is amazing. Common sample. We got some more grenades and ammo around that I can't really pick up. Uh, I think those are supposed to be stim packs or something of the sort. I see a little icon on it, but I don't know how to pick it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm just going to not die. You know, why don't I just not get hits? That seems like a very simple solution, right? Uh, I hear them around me. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I, I swear I could hear them. Do I want to take them out? I kind of do, because I feel like they're going to ambush me, but let's go ahead and just kind of avoid them the best that we can. But what are we looking for? We're still looking for that brood commander, which is actually probably exactly where I was looking at is part of those enemies. Hmm. If I were a brood commander, would I be in the giant sand pit and also like... Yeah, okay, that's it, that's it. I'm not going to deal with you guys crawling around, getting behind me and suddenly surrounding me. I'm just going to take you guys out from a distance while I have the opportunity to... Is he shooting something? Did he just throw a projectile at me? I'm not entirely certain. Okay, we'll reload, reload, reload. I did not want them to get any close. I even said that let's just not get hit, right? It's a very simple solution. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. It's, it's that easy. Just open fire. <laughs> open fire. Let's prove the fact that you can play this by yourself because you don't always need friends. You know, I have lots of friends I can play with. Definitely have an SOS beacon down and people can come help me, but no one seems to be joining. So we're all by ourselves. Is the melee effective? not very effective and also they get into you know the position to hit you and now i'm nearly dead so is there any way to heal myself anyway uh drop samples drop arc thrower what is a arc thrower which to between weapon and primary i'm not exactly sure what an arc thrower oh is that that is the weapon that i have okay oh no that is the support weapon oh i'm not exactly sure how effective that is but maybe Okay, there has to be a way to use the stims. Press up on... The, okay, just once on the D-pad to go get stims. There we go. Nice. Well, let's go ahead and see what this arc thrower does. Um, Commander should be out here soon. And that is a very blue-looking star. Is that a star? Or is that like an engine? Is that an explosion out in the distance? It might be a star. I'm not entirely certain, but that is one blue star. Like, what is it? A blue, a blue-white or like wolf rain type star. I know my stuff from playing Elite Dangerous, all the different star classes. Um... I hear you. Where are you? Oh, there's something. Um, okay, how, how, how does this arc thrower work? How does this work? Okay, it's doing a little bit of chain lightning. Uh-huh, cool, great. I, I think it's working. I think it's working. <laughs> I think it's working. They're dying. I, I think maybe they're just stunned. I'm not entirely certain, but I'm honestly kind of loving it. It's a very effective weapon. I'm not really sure how much ammo I technically have on it. Oh, the charging ability is taking a while. Stay back. No, 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 no. Charge up, charge up, charge up. <laughs> okay. There appears to be a bleed out mechanic because that guy died before I got off the last shot. Now we need to extract. Well, now I know from last mission that the extraction is not always so simple. Let's get to the extraction point and try to hold off as far as we can. But, you know, hey, while we're here, again, thank you, Digitees, for clicking on the video. This may, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I may not be the most engaging, you know, YouTuber and content creator out there. Jesus, the bright light. My God. Um, you know, that you could ever find out there. But I still appreciate every view and every comment that you guys may have on the video. Because, you know, I'm still a small channel. A vending machine. The Ministry of Prosperity ensures that every colony has access to the latest beverages. Extending lib... Li lab libertarian ingenuity to all super earth citizens yeah try to say that three times fast <laughs> but, you know i may not be the best youtuber youtuber out there but i still appreciate it. i'm still a small channel i'm learning more every single day so hey thank you again for just clicking on the video but let's go ahead and kill some bug bastards and try to get defend ourselves the best we can so which way are you gonna be coming from we have a little bit better defense this time compared to last time we're not on top of a hill kind of being ambushed now we have a little bit more of a structure to kind of defend some walls Although I can't exactly see through those lights very well. They are very, very bright. That might be some ambient occlusion type of setting that I can go ahead and take a look at later on. And hello, we have our first little baby boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he does not get taken out on a single hit. But the arc is kind of effective. It is taken out multiple, I think, in a row with that chain lightning. Oh, go ahead and do that. Ow, ow. <laughs> they, they have a lunging ability. I'm not very fond of that. That is scary because that means that they are always in range. Um, can I, like, mark multiple enemies with this? Oh, wow. Okay, no, it just does it automatically. That is very nice. An encounter is approaching. Use your stratagems. What do you mean by an encounter? What do you mean by an encounter? Um, I will use my stratagems. Uh, orbital precision strike. Let's go ahead and just throw it over there. That should get rid of some of them. Get rid of these small guys. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, come on, come on. Reload, fire, charge up. Ah, God. <laughs> okay, I need to get into my main primary. Because the primary is going to be better for all these small guys than trying to charge up that stupid laser. There we go. Reload. Reload. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Grenade time. Grenade time. Just throw some over there. Why don't we just throw casually? Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, ah, no. <laughs> he managed to give me. I don't know. Oh, I have to reload. Uh, that manual reloading capability is uh 
that is really something you got to get used to manually reloading oh my god so bright <laughs> that is something you really got to get used to is manually reloading i wonder if there's like a setting to like auto reload for you because that would be super helpful i cannot always keep an eye on how much i have left in my magazine come on there we go take out a couple more of the small guys who else is left i'm gonna pick up the samples again because i don't want to leave those behind we do have that arc thrower that's nice go ahead and charge it up so we can take out multiple of these guys yeah yeah so i'm not exactly sure why sometimes it chains lightnings and sometimes it doesn't there we go there we go a couple more how much time do we still have left he's approaching right now good that's right on cue that's exactly what i need you to buddy i'm i'm a little disappointed i was not able to complete this without dying at all but you know i will take it shuttle landing can i get killed by the shuttle hang on we've got to test this if it lands on me oh yep <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can get killed by the shuttle. Hey, I had to for science. Laying on top of him. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that works. That works. I took out a couple of the bugs with that. Very nice. Okay, yeah, get to the board. Get, I'm just going to board it. Let's just get out of here. Wait, I got to get the sample. Yeah, okay, I picked up the sample. Now nah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Ooh, what a game. I've got to say, what a game. You know, next time I record an episode for this, I'm going to try to figure out how to get more allies with us so I'm not playing by solo. See what it's like when we actually get a good squad of allies play with you. Because, my God, I can see how this can be a lot of fun if you have some buddies to play with. That is that is exhilarating. Even by yourself, you really feel like you're on edge. And, of course, as you unlock more, get more stratagems, get more heavy equipment, and, you know, get good. Because, obviously, I am just absolute trash at this being brand new. But, hey, I love it. This is a fun game. I think it was... $40 I want to say I believe it was about 40 bucks and I can say for 40 bucks that is a prime game this thing has already hit the top of the steam charts people are loving there are tens and thousands of people playing the game right now it is amazing honestly if you guys have not had the chance to play it yourselves you should probably go ahead and invest into this because I've only played two missions here and I'm immediately blown away and if you have a few friends to play with this is probably the game to play on the weekend and have time with all your friends it'd be great and honestly, if you're leveling up, unlock new equipment, you got challenges, you got war friends and all this fun stuff. I am running out of words in my lexicon to, to properly explain that it is that I am just amazed by how, just by, just by this game alone. So let's, you know, I, I, I don't even know. I don't have enough, I don't have enough words, but let's go ahead and take a look here. What do we unlock? So you come back to the ship, you get a whole bunch of progression points, a nice little, yeah, clap, clap, way to go, me. Yeah, all me acquisitions you level up i'm level three now you get a whole bunch of rewards and stuff like that nice welcome back i hope it's gonna feel the war effort because i'm i we're out there fighting for a reason well i gotta say thank you tgds for watching the episode of hell divers it was my very first look at it hopefully the next time we make an episode on it i can have a little bit more structure to it but as a very first look i like to be just well as a first look i like to be completely blown away i like to get the actual first life experience of what it is that this has to offer because what other more genuine reaction can you really get other than that because again this is it's fun it's great i love it so thank you digities i'm still not really sure how to do any of these outros but if there's one thing that i can always guarantee you that we will fight on for super earth thank you and bye bye <laughs>